Hello and welcome back to the Silver Hulk channel. In this episode 14 of Ask the Hulk show. The next question that we have got is from Kanis Fatima and uh, Fatima says Hi Shrey, I need your guidance. I am a certified Salesforce admin and working experience is 1.5 years. Now I want to move on towards development part. Can you please suggest me the right way to be a Salesforce developer? Okay, so uh, the question that you basically that you're basically asking me is I'm already I, I am already a Salesforce admin. I've got a job as a Salesforce admin. I have worked for 1.5 years uh, as a Salesforce admin, but now I want to move to development part. Tell me how to do that. So first of all, I want to say that congratulations, uh, you are on a right track. Uh, it's a good decision that you want to move towards development. Many of the administrators uh, feel reluctant and uh, yeah, they do not want to move towards the development part because they some like somewhere da deep down there or like, I, I don't know, somewhere they hate writing the codes and everything. But it's a crucial part of working as a uh, working in, as a Salesforce professional that you if you know uh, how to write the code, it's gonna be better for you, uh, as, like as uh, for your career as well and for everything because you'll be able to help out the users of your org in a much better way and in a much faster way. You'll not be relying on any other person. You'll you'll be able to do everything that you want to do for the users that you have in your org. So that's the good decision. Now let's talk about how you can move from the admin part to the developer part. Number one thing, you need to learn Apex. You do need to learn Apex. And start by learning small, small things about Apex. Start uh, by writing simple, simple codes, like small uh, codes that help you do different, different stuff. And uh, like, you, you, you just, just first need to write down the code into a developer edition org or something like that, not into the production or the sandbox of the org uh, for which you're working. But yeah, you need to write down the code. And there are some topics that you need to uh, be hands-on with as you'll, you'll you might be facing issues uh, in your organization right now or you might be having some uh, so like your users must be requesting something uh, that needs you to write down the code so try that into your developer edition because you'll that that is an assignment for you and these assignments are going to teach you stuff that will make you a developer eventually so the first thing that you need to do is learn apex in apex let me elaborate what exact topics you have to uh, like learn Apex as a language, object oriented programming language. Next, SOQL, SOSL, then DML statements and database methods, then triggers, and then testing. And uh, after that, yeah, these are the major topics that you have to learn in Apex. And after that, uh, learn Lightning or Visual Force. Like Visual Force is dated now, uh, so you you can like move forward with Lightning only. And uh, when like before Lightning, first try to learn apex only because that's gonna help you out a lot and once you have learned apex everything else will be very very easy for you so yeah that's uh, probably what the next step is and i think my videos on salesforce Hulk channel uh, to be a like to be a salesforce developer are gonna help you out for that i hope it helps the next question is from divya and divya says hey shrey uh, i want to ask uh, that if i wanted to ask that if a person has two years of experience as a salesforce developer then can he or she switch technology to java or any other okay it's a different question that i'm getting this time so generally what happens to me is uh, people ask me that if i'm already uh, like into java profile or if i'm already working at, uh, in java or any other technology will i be able to move into salesforce or will i be able to become a salesforce developer or not and what is the way of uh, becoming a salesforce developer but this is th this time you asked me that uh, if a person has a two years of experience as a salesforce developer then uh, can they switch to any other technology like java or anything so like it's moving backwards, I would say. The the answer like this this answer uh, is basically this answer should the answer of this particular question should be yes or no. So yes, you can move to any other technology like Java or any any other technology that you want to. But the major question that comes up to my like comes into my mind when you ask this question is why why you want to move backwards. All the people who have experience of like 10 years, 12 years in Java, C Sharp, .NET, whatever that technology is, they want to move into Salesforce development. And the person who has an experience of two years as a Salesforce developer is already like a valuable asset. Why they want to decrease their value in going back to a technology that's obsolete into the market like Java or C Sharp. So the answer again of the question is yes, you can. There's no problem. Uh, I mean, there'll be there'll, there'll not be much problems that you'll be uh, facing while, while you'll 
while you'll move to java or any other technology but yeah i i, I don't see any point of moving from salesforce to java or any other technology because this is a hot cake right now into the market and this will increase your value as a resource or uh, it will make you an asset for an organization while like you're working as a salesforce developer in an organization you are already an asset in today's time if you also want to ask me a question related to salesforce or related to anything then just feel free to write me a dm on my linkedin profile of which i have mentioned the link down in the description just get connected with me on linkedin send me a dm and i'm going to make sure to answer the question that you have and also you can write a post with the hashtag ask the hulk and i'll make sure that i answer that question as well in ask the hulk series so you just keep asking the questions i'll keep answering them